Well, my name is Misty, and I'm from Southern California Rancho Cucamonga area. And I came up here with a friend to stay with people that I don't even know uh, to come to Bethel Church in hopes for healing for cancer. And uh, it's my third battle with it. So came up here um, Thursday. Yeah, the people that we were staying with, uh, Holly and Dan, never met them before. We're having a group of people over and had said, Holly had said, well, we're having a celebration for you. She knew about my circumstances and what's going on and went there and ate and met a bunch of wonderful people. And then she very excitingly took me into a back room with five other people who were very excited and happy to be there. And for about two hours, they prayed over me. Uh, I've had cancer in my lungs and a uh, tumor in my neck. I have cancer as well. And in that two hour period of sitting there and having them pray over me, I could feel my cancer tumor along with the fingers that it has pull back, harden, and continue to keep getting smaller and smaller. Um, as they pressed in harder and harder, it kept getting smaller and smaller. And they kept feeling it. Well, it's almost gone. We're going we're gonna to keep praying and go all the way. And um, then at one point, uh, one of the guys that was praying over me stood back with such conviction and said, it's gone. Feel it. It's gone. And I looked at him like, there's just no way. There's no way. And after feeling my neck, and I couldn't find it because it was so big for me and, and just the slight touch of it hurt so much that when I felt it and it was gone and my voice was back and I could breathe good and I didn't have any pain I just broke down and fell over and cried and just couldn't believe it it was amazing um, in awe the whole night and so thankful when I woke up in the morning I thought it was a dream it couldn't be true and so I felt it and it was gone so for two hours I prayed and cried it was such a blessing uh, it was such a blessing it was and it is uh, and in such excitement trying to explain it to some people um, they kind of look at you like you're crazy how could that be true it's just it's not true and other people that you know you can just feel God's presence just look at you right through your soul and say praise Jesus and you're like, wow. So you get it, because I know what I felt. I know what I had, and I know what I feel now. And it's gone, and I've gone. Uh, since then, I haven't thrown up from the chemo. Um, my color is back. I feel good. I feel energized. I, I don't feel like my bones don't even ache um, from the chemo. It hurts so bad sometimes to even chew gum or... Um, go up a flight of stairs and I don't feel any pain um, I have sores and scabs in my mouth my face in my hair blisters uh, from the chemo effects and I have no more blisters the scabs are starting to fall off and the sores in my mouth are, are getting better and it's just amazing absolutely amazing so then came here today for additional prayer because Holly said to keep pressing in and keep pressing in and um, in doing so, coming here, I explained uh, my story to the two people that were praying for me. And uh, they wanted to press in even further. And they said, we want to get rid of all the cancer and make you cancer free. Because this is ridiculous. You've had it for three times. And, you know, three times the charm and you're done. This is it for you. And so they pressed in. And in doing so, uh, there were some issues that I had with a... A family member that nobody would have known about and one of the ladies that prayed over me had said I'm gonna be this family member and I thought whoa how do you know that and uh, asked for forgiveness and um, for a lot of things that there's just no way anybody could have known and it had to have been God saying it's okay now it's okay and uh, then in doing so then I got baptized within the Holy Spirit and oh, what an amazing feeling and uh, healing in that as well. For someone that doesn't believe, um, you know, sometimes you think, do miracles really happen? You see a lot of stuff on TV and you think, oh, you know, 
know, I just don't feel that that's right. And there's a lot of things out there that probably are not right. But what I experienced, um, sometimes your mind tells you one thing and your heart tells you something else and, and they get lost in the translations and they, they agree to disagree. And then you go through something like this and you just absolutely believe. You just, there's no harm, there's no hurt in saying, okay, God, I believe and surrender to him. You lose nothing, but you gain the world. It's amazing.